So just cause all I'm saying is everybody and I mean, everybody has tried to push the bounds of okay. the rules in Listen, racing. We're all hot rod race exactly. car guys. All right. We, so, we all agree that if you're not cheating a little, you're not trying. Welcome to the number one drift podcast on YouTube. I am Dawson. I'm Nate. And I'm Jake. <laughs> all right so jake uh we'll get into him in a little minute in a, in a little bit uh he a is, little minute a little minute's fine too yeah a little minute a little minute Whatever just works. a little minute guys <laughs> <laughs> all right but a few announcements real quick check out our socials so tiktok instagram doing reels daily uh i'll leave those linked in the description uh we are going to discuss some of the tommy f yeah and rudnick alleged Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, alleged uh, controversy I'm bad going on for like three minutes straight. It's gonna be awesome. Basically, I'm, I'm pretty excited yeah. about it. <laughs> Nate will get his uh, weekly rant in. He'll do what he does. Um. <laughs> but uh, don't forget, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the episodes. Um, and keep all of our Florida homies uh, in in your thoughts and stuff because mm. Hurricane Ian mm-hmm. hit pretty hard, and not Hurricane Ian. Like we're gonna talk about soon. stupid, but <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. Soundboard, dude. The soundboard was the best person that we've ever hired. Uh, oh yeah, man, <laughs> it's the best. Anyways, uh, so tell us a little about your, little bit about yourself. Oh, let's see. Um, so I'm Jake. Um, uh, I mostly just uh, tell Nate whether or not he should post things, and usually he does. <laughs> so um, he does no. it one way or another. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's out no. on the internet. Now. I think Jake, Jake's my <laughs> meme ghostwriter. Yes, yes, I am the uh, invisible meme writer. It's see, all right. So <laughs> look, I, it's, so I, tr- it's so funny because it's true. <laughs> I have the ideas sometimes, and they're few and far between, right? Like, I mean, like I have the ideas. But I don't know how to meme. I don't know how to make funny pictures. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, Nate, take this, take that, put it together, smash it around, put some words on it. He's the idea guy there. and he's like the filing cabinet for all then, the funny videos throughout okay. history. <laughs> but what's funnier is like it I've sent him ideas for memes at like two o'clock in the morning. And I've also sent them at like twelve thirty in the afternoon. It doesn't matter when I'll, I send I'll them. Always answer you. It's Oh, it's like five minute turnaround. And boom, Fast as fuck, is. boy. <laughs> oh, You'd have to be in a group chat with me to like really. He was in one for a while with me. Dude, I'll make specific memes. I'm so bored sometimes. <laughs> I'll make specific memes that are only relevant to what we're talking about. Right. Ten minutes later, it won't be relevant. So I'll do it and then people will be like, what the fuck is the matter with him? You know? <laughs> and I'm like, like, but it was funny, but it's just like, it's like, dude, you spent a lot of time on that and I'm like, nope, I was driving. You know? <laughs> like, time I'll nope. meme while I'm like, Dri- don't don't put that out there. Okay. That was, oh, that that's was going 28 there. seconds. <laughs> yeah, it takes no time to yeah. meme. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'm, yeah, that's what, that's what I do. I don't even drift. I just make, I give Nate ideas for me no 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 seriously (laughs) seriously and that camera right there who are you what do you do who am i what do i what do i do for a living yeah like to make money yeah well not drifting what (laughs) that's Um, why we started a podcast yeah yeah yeah, yeah, we're we're all broke here (laughs) okay so yes uh for the third time i am jake um i am actually a mental health therapist these days so that's what i do for a living big boy job now you know why we're friends oh yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i actually thought it was really funny when you were like no i will not see a therapist for it i was like <laughs> but you're gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i didn't even think about that that's uh, anyway. oh, um, but key. yeah uh, stupid <laughs> Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've been around the drift world for oh, closer, close to a decade now, coming up on it. Um, started when I was in the army. Uh, got in with Mike Montanti. Shout out. Um, he's uh, he was driving pro am back in the KMS days. If you remember oh, that? Well, you want to talk about drama? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, so I got in with Mike when, and basically, you know, I had owned two forties. I'd been a car guy before that. I think I've had like nine or 10 two forties. I really don't know. Um, the only one I've never had is a kooky. Uh, well, I guess in an S 15, but 
I've had a bunch of Zen keys, a bunch of S13s. So, um, yeah, uh, started actually started sliding autocross events at the Clarksville Speedway because there were no drift events anywhere. <laughs> um, East 10 was like the closest. And I think even then they were only running like Chill Howie every now and then. There really wasn't much else around, to be honest. Hmm. Um, this was like 2013, 2014, that area. Nice. Yeah. And then um, it just kind of snowballed downhill into a big fiery crash of financial mistakes <laughs> and uh, As it normally does for most of you yeah. yeah so let's see um i had originally built my car i bought my car the car that i currently own that i crashed last year at ls fest and i'm rebuilding for next year and but yeah that car bought bone stock automatic um, the only aftermarket part on the entire car was aftermarket tension rods, and uh, I bought it from... Mine are still stock. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, bought it from Steven Vogelar, if you remember that guy. He hasn't been around for a while, but... Um, yeah. But yeah, and who bought it from the Sounds original familiar. owner, and the original owner was an old lady, I guess, who said she only bought the aftermarket ones because they were cheaper than the OEM replacement <laughs> ones. <laughs> So uh, shout out to the old lady. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, get this, get this. Ready? Bone stock, full interior, clean. It was automatic. Uh, Thirty two hundred bucks. <laughs> that's, that's so, like a twenty thousand dollar car. So I, I have a question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so obviously, so one of the things about me is I'm very pervasive. I know that I get under people's skin, and I do it on purpose because I like it. I like making people mad. It's like part of gotcha, my bitch. Yeah, it's part of my personality. It's true. All right, I, I don't even try it. and hide it anymore. All right, I, it's who I, I am. It. If I know something bothers you, I'm gonna figure out what that button is. I'm gonna push it as many times as you'll let me. That's true. <laughs> sure. Okay, but I Most had definitely. people come after me because I bought my car similar. It mm-hmm. was bone stock. It had rolled mm-hmm. fenders. It was Matt Wilcox. You know who that is? Yeah. Okay, I bought it from him, mm-hmm. and it was pr- pretty much bone stock. It was just a KA car, right? Yeah. Dude, when I post, I I joined. Uh, what what's the what's the two for not S chassis whatever it's a Zilvia or whatever it's called oh, uh, yeah the yeah. word forum yeah I joined a forum yep. and dude I got dragged like I was cutting up a Nova <laughs> it was crazy I was like dude you people don't even know what this car looks like I sent you a picture and in the picture it's fucking raining you don't even know what what the condition of this car and you're like mad I'm gonna make it into a drift car it's a matter with you people so no. so. That uh, I was sorry I went on a rant. No, I, I no, no, I'm, I'm what, with you. Did you have to face any of that, or were people at the time like for it? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, you talk to anybody who knew me and knew that car. Oh yeah, no, I ruined it. Oh and yeah, I was I ruined. And, and I was absolutely adamant that I wasn't going to drift it. And then I started drifting it. <laughs> and then I ripped all the interior out, sold it for 200 bucks, and used that to buy cage material. I, <laughs> I burned my interior. What? Yeah, I had I, I had some guy it's that like said he wanted sacrilege. to buy he wanted to buy some parts off of it. Oh. I said, okay, yeah, you can buy some parts off of it. If it's fine. He never showed, did he? He no, he, he did. So oh. I think it was Ty that Ty Morris came down and bought some parts from me one time. I'm pretty sure I, I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm not really good with names. But another guy said he wanted to come buy the stuff, mm-hmm. and I said. Yeah, you can come. You just come get it, right? Sure. Just come get it for a hundred dollars. And he was like, "Well, will you take any less?" And all, dude, a hundred dollars for full S thirteen interior. Like, I try and cut people. You know how I am. I'm yeah. not, I don't try and yeah. gouge people. I just, yeah. I just don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, absolutely. But also, I'm like the very fuck around and find out person. So like, I said, <laughs> okay, my favorite so, part about you. So he said, he he said, "Will you take any less?" I said, "Yeah, sure. Just bring beer. Bring me two cases of beer." And he goes. <laughs> How about one case? And so then I sent him a picture of me throwing the back seats into a fire pit. <laughs> it's a true story. This is pretty funny. Ah, man. So stupid. Me? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, yeah, dude, yeah. you should have just brought me the beer. What the like, fuck? You know, like, dude, like the me that cared about having clean interior in a T40 would have been like. Dude, I'll bring you three cases of beer. Just sit. Don't move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, uh, nope. Ripped, ripped it all out. Um, built it as a KAT car uh, a couple times. Um, you know, kind of as I progressed, 
um, you know, KAT. And then, you know, the first iteration of the KAT was really nice. Um, it was really clean. And then towards the end, um, of the KAT phase, we kind of bought a $300 unknown condition KA from, I won't, I couldn't tell you exactly where it was some like town I'd never heard of down here in middle Tennessee. Um, and the dudes were really, really high. And, uh, he was like, yeah, man, uh, you know, 500 bucks. I'm like, "Eh, complete engine. Not bad. Yeah. 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 yeah, Two hours away. No big, no big deal. Cool. We get there and they're super duper high. And he's like, all right, man. So, so we said 300, right? I'm like, sure. I mean, is that what you want for it? And he was like, yeah, man, I'm cool with 300. You guys came all the way down here. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> like, Sounds good. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, uh, was the motor good? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, we literally, Hell yeah. No, we literally ripped the, the, the exhaust manifold, the intake manifold off. Cause I had like simplified all the vacuum lines under the intake manifold on my manifold yeah. mm-hmm. and, um, swap the manifolds over, swap the turbo manifold over. Um, not too long after that blew up my 14th, $120 CX racing turbo. And, uh, so I started looking around, I was like, man, I should put a decent turbo on it. Cause I keep having this problem. And but if I would have just bought a turb, a good turbo to begin with, like, you know, like I could have had one already. Uh, Do you just, suggest? I would just like always to say, buying a real turbo up front. Then, nah. <laughs> so what, I gonna, okay, what, what I was gonna say is that is a very good carbon dating on Jake Elliott <laughs> <laughs> because turbo technology is light years from where it used to be. So he uh, yeah. used to used to mess them up, but now we we would say that uh, like a, a decent eBay turbo is probably as about as good as a as a ten year old Garrett was. Yeah, I'd yeah. say right. Yeah, so yeah. that's a good comparison. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So to, to, to avoid having to buy another CX racing eBay turbo, um, uh, you know, put it, made a Facebook post and, uh, my, my buddy, Ryan Cavan, shout out. What's up, buddy? He messaged uh, me after the podcast. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, we bought a, uh, a whole set. <laughs> uh, it was like a dump truck turbo. <laughs> I don't even know what it came from. It, it was, work? yeah, oh, hell yeah, it worked. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those, um, are, dude, those, so, are, those are my favorite. Dude, <laughs> I love so shit like that. Slap. You'd I love s- to go to Australia. Then. Oh, dude, I know. Uh, you'd have a blast. Summer Nats yeah. would be the shit, dude. Dude, it would just be <laughs> Nate in like a lifted like quad turbo Hilux like ripping 50 feet over a sand yeah. dune wearing a fucking Adam LZ <laughs> oh, there like it is, brim yeah. and uh, American flag uh, speedo yeah, yeah I'm there fucking it is. in son but yeah uh, bought a uh, I, I couldn't have paid much for it I probably paid like 200 maybe 250 I don't really even remember um, but yeah uh, and uh, he said yeah it, it's fine no, no shaft play anything like that but uh the compressor housing, like I can't get it to clock. We've tried. And I was like, Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. And, uh, so, so we get this turbo back to the shop and, um, Brad, Brad Wallace again, shout out. I, I love Brad. I Hello, love Brad. 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 He's a goober, but he's, he's my goober. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Brad stuck a pry bar in the, uh, compressor housing inlet and, uh, I tapped it with a tiny, Thor hammer sledge and it just slowly started to move (laughs) and that's how we clocked the turbo (laughs) and then we stuck it on there and then it worked really well uh when the wastegate opened it sounded like a freight train um and uh yeah we pretty much ran that uh we ran that for 2017 i think was when we ran state of drift all season yeah damn that's um, impressive. Yeah, yeah. And then I sold that whole power plant, um, like intercooler to drive shaft, the whole thing. Yeah. ECU, all of it, for like two grand, I think. Um, you, to a two, guy you who. You 40 motherfuckers. I can't stand y'all. Uh, I love it. Anyway. Um, no, not you. People who are like, dude, I, I had somebody the other day trying, like, I was talking about buying a different power plant for the rally car. I really want to do an Atlas 5 cylinder, but I can't find one. Mm. But I had a guy offer to sell me a single cam, which I have Wait, one of. The mm-hmm. Atlas. Is that the one that was in like the Colorados and the yeah. Canyons? Dude, yeah. you can tur- the AR5s. I know. You I, can turbo the crap out of them. I know. They're amazing. I know. <sighs> 
That's what Damn. I want. I want an Atlas Five single turbo. I want it. I want they it. They sound to, gnarly, dude. I want it to sound like that. That's, <laughs> that's the mind. whole point. They that's sound what he wants gnarly. It for. I, oh, just dude, for the sound. I just yeah. want it for the sound. I just want it to sound like that. I'm like, dude, what engine is that? <laughs> oh yeah, I took it out of my daily. Dude, what was your daily? It was a GMC Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. Why the fuck are you laughing? That would be so cool. I mean, it would sound you just like don't a, expect that coming out of a fucking canyon or a Colorado. That dude, dude I'm so, serious. The though. sound that it cool. sounds so cool, man. Dude, uh, so there's a bunch like a, of reasons. All right, so we all know my elusive uh, crew chief, Andy. Uh, I love it. Shout out to Variant Auto Guys. I'm just gonna keep shouting people out. Anyway, we're for uh, it. I'm we're here for, for it. it. All right, so, yeah, Variant Auto. Thanks, guys. Um, but yeah, um, so Andy. Uh, went on like a 30 minute tirade one time of all the different reasons why this engine is awesome. I don't remember any of them, um, but I know that Andy's like the smartest car person I know. Like if there's anything to know about cars, Andy knows it. And so if Andy says something's really good, let alone he says something's really good for 30 minutes worth of reasons, it's really good. Um, He's but, probably talking about the Atlas 4200 uh, comes out of the Trailblazer. No, no, he was talking about GMC Canyons, a little 2.9, whatever. Oh, yeah. Damn. GMC Canyons, Colorado. Yep. That's what I want. And do big turbo, if big you, single listen, turbo. Yeah. If you can find me a long block five cylinder, okay, I will put it in a 240SX and I will fucking jump it. Okay. You can ask everyone in this room right now if I would do something like that. And I will. We'll record it. And we'll they'll do tell you on it. in the passenger seat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a car for it. I need a steering column and a clutch pedal and I need a motor. It's all I need. If you can find me a five cylinder, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyways, um, so along with kind of your competitive driving and everything, mm -hmm. uh, how does your driving style compare to others during competition? Mm. Um, I get in my head a lot. Um, like the mental game is hard. Um, like. People underestimate that a lot. Like when I've had a lot of people come to me and like who are thinking about going from grassroots to comp drifting or thinking about trying pro am or something like that. And um that's that's usually the biggest piece is like you can be really, really good. You can throw down at Clarksville, but when you're sitting on the line for qualifying or when you're sitting on the line for battle, it's different. What I don't was know. That, I what was that one moment that kind of like shot you in the ass the first time and made you realize it? Hmm. Uh, first Pro-Am event, Z-Max Dragway in North Carolina. And uh, we were sitting there. I was, I was really struggling trying to figure this course out because it was... Um, I'm trying to remember what layout that was. It was like a long beach layout. Like, so it's got a long run up and then a big 90 then kind of a sweeper section to a hairpin. Okay. Um, but it, it felt bigger than long beach looked cause I've never been to long beach. So I don't know, but, um, it does look small. I feel like, yeah, yeah. but it, this, this was way bigger and it was in the middle of a giant parking lot. So there's not a bunch of walls and stuff to hit, but, um, you know, I was having trouble figuring it out and I was really frustrated and I was already on the fence over like it should, I, am I even good enough to be here? Like, like no. that kind of thing. Um, and uh, Abe Heath, I, I just happened to be sitting on grid next to Abe Heath. And uh, I looked over and Abe was just like, dude, you're fine. Relax. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> All right. And then that was kind of the Sounds moment good, when boss. I was like, right, well, I guess I'll just send it. And then, um, and then me and Abe, uh, actually crashed. That was the first time I ripped my car off. <laughs> uh, we crashed. Not a good way to go into that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then how did my, that set you up for the following runs that just really beat your head in? Uh, no, no, not really. Um, I mean, it was coming off the first corner. I knew Abe, Abe was straight up about it. He told me he was having steering binding issues. Um, his, the steering knuckle was binding on the header and, um, get a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Abe, like he's like the Knoxville version of you. Trust me. I'm, I'm sure if there was a hammer solution, he would have done it, but I, I don't know exactly what the problem was, but, um, he was having steering issues. Um, and, uh, Is this the KA car. This was the green hatch that he had, I believe. Okay. Um, mm. I want to say this was an SR car. I don't 
remember cool. actually. <laughs> or maybe maybe it five <laughs> three it. Maybe it five three. Fuck it. off. <laughs> maybe it five three it. I don't know. Um, I was just curious. Just yeah, curious. I'd have to go back and look. Um, anyway, send it in a little too yeah, hard. Yeah, no, I mean, so, you know, I was like... Or too shallow. Yeah, you know, it was first legitimate first pro-am battle ever. Yeah. Um, and, of course, you know, I ended up against Abe, you know, against one of my buddies. So that, that worked out kind of good, kind of calming the nerves because yeah. I had driven with Abe. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, Abe's leading first. He qualified higher. And uh, we go into the first corner. And he's already he's already taken me to Applebee's, and uh, and so I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Like I I can't. I'm, I'm not gonna catch him, right. And so I'm like, yeah, four foot to the floor, and I'm coming through, and he, I see him start to transition, and I I'm like, oh, I'm gonna an- anticipate and punch mm. through and come right out yeah, on his yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he started to transition the steering bound, and he went around. So when I punched through the smoke boom there he was and oh. all i could do was like whip the wheel as hard as i could and i basically as he went around i went the other way and we smacked butts <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, 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 you know, are you still front mount radiator yeah oh yeah. so yeah, no it was all it was, things considered yeah it was largely cosmetic yeah, that yeah. was yeah. that was when my car got over fenders <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i know that moment yes. I, I have a question that's sure. kind of like uh like your um like your therapist background, mm-hmm. I feel like we kind of answer this question. So have you ever, like, do you, what do you think about the difference in people who like know how to drive, but get in their head. Mm. And then you have somebody that's like, you know, they pull up next to somebody that they know is better than them or not know that's better than them, but they're obviously someone that is at a higher pedigree. Mm-hmm. And then instead of being like, man, I don't know if I'm good enough to be here. They're just like, well, let's find out then, because I'm I'm more like that, right? But I think that I I think that I don't I have this I have this theory that mm. nobody gets the full bean plate, right? Like you you might be able to have the confidence, but that might mean that you sacrifice on skill, sure, whereas yeah. somebody might have skill and they don't have the confidence. And so, like I feel like sometimes I'm too overzealous. So I was curious what your thoughts on that. Mm. Um, so I pretty quickly became that, <laughs> um, uh, you know, lining up. Uh, yeah, I, well, I don't remember which LS Fest it was. It was when Jonathan had the G thirty five seven five seven five seven. Yeah, orange and green coupe. I think it was yeah, a seven. It was yeah. a G thirty seven. Big yeah. giant wing, really loud, makes yeah. all the all the noises. That's that, so cool. Yeah, I loved it. All his cars um, are cool, and I hate BMWs, and I like his car. I love that car. <laughs> it's very cool. That car is <laughs> gnarly. Cool car. I copied um, the firewall out of it. Yeah, like straight up. Yeah. Um. So I uh, wanted, I want to say it was LS Fest 2018 um, and uh, ended up lining up next to Jonathan, me in the lead, my little 5'3". Yeah. <laughs> That's a big time. Like, cool. uh, yeah. let's find out. It's you on know? my YouTube. Oh, it's, boy. There's a drone video of him chasing me on my YouTube. There you go. Yeah. yeah um, we can find it. Yeah, we'll it my, my YouTube, you'll probably have to like knock the dust off of it, but it's it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put the video up. Unless yeah. you're going to try. Are you trying to start your YouTube back up kind of? Eh. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll just put the video up. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, that was one of those, like I'm sitting on the line, Nick Swan right there with his green and red gloves, you know, nope. cause he's Nick Swan, his big old beard and big old teddy bear. Hi Nick. I, I, dude, I he's love that. Cool. I love he is, Nick dude. Dude. He, I have a story. Keep going. But anyway. remind me about Nick Swan. I have a story about my right. turbo for yeah. Nick Swan. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, so <laughs> Actually, I skipped a part. So we're as we were gridding, you know, moving through grid towards the start line, I was like trying to count because I was trying to see like, oh, shit, am I actually going to end up next to Jonathan? Like, (laughs) and I'm like, he pulls up to the line and I'm still kind of sitting there like 
For, the, for those probably. who don't know, <laughs> if you are a if you are a grassroots going into pro am, drawing Jonathan Cashhurst would be like drawing <laughs> John Forrest in drag racing. All right, that's like yeah. drawing the fastest guy in the first round. Just for the for the guys that don't have the visual cues here, that's yeah. what's happened. He's drawing the fastest dude in the event the first round. All right. Continue. I mean, Jonathan, I'm fairly certain went on to win that event, but I'm sure. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so Jonathan like basically makes a motion, like get the fuck up here, pussy. <laughs> yeah. You better and, jump uh, up or get out. Yeah. yeah. And so I pulled up to the line and Nick's giving me the, you good, you good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And he, Jonathan, good. All right. And so, you know, arms up down, I'm like, all right, bitch, let's go. Come on, little five three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I was I'm like fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> I really was. That five three was going. I was every single bean, all of the beans. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. were no beans left after that run. Okay, I, I was going as fast as I possibly could because I knew if I didn't, Jonathan was going to run me over. <laughs> and so his was the turbo setup. Still, oh, right? yeah. oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I couldn't hear spicy my car. Setup. Yeah. He was he was like coming he on. Always the, has a spicy setup. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, coming coming on on that bank, like dude, he was on my door. All I could hear was pop pop. <laughs> Dude, so I've tried to figure out how to make my car do that, and the only way I can do it is I can turn the Holly's uh, two step on or like anti lag, and then take the resolute the resolution bar and move it all the way to rev limiter, so that the only time it does that is when I'm at rev limiter, which is. For those who don't know, <laughs> fucking terrible for your engine. It's terrible for yes. it. And so I won't do it because like I, I always put like beat ass motors in my car. But I every time I hear his car, I'm like, I could I could do it. Take me two minutes. I could go out to the car, get a laptop, <laughs> like, put it in there, go outside, piss my neighbors off, it'd be awesome. But mm. I just I never can make yep, a move. Yep, yep. Um yeah, you know, have have you know, have a mic low racing engine in your car and big old swoopy turbo and a bunch of wastegates in there and some other stuff and big old super awesome thing makes a whole bunch of noises um yeah that's that's how he does it it's witchcraft basically i'd say so yep it's witchcraft uh, nah. it's not nah, it's witchcraft yeah nah, i've seen know. it i love his car uh, i love his car i too. like him and human's it's car so yeah. sick but it's not witchcraft you could do it well, it's not okay. that whatever. <laughs> um, Anyways, <laughs> yeah. No, Jonathan. Jonathan's an absolute beast of a driver, oh, and every time I've driven with him, I've absolutely gained something from it. Like you can't not learn when you're driving with someone better than you, and especially when you're driving with someone who's that much better than you. Yeah. But yeah. to get back to the original question, um, I think in. It largely de- depends on your mindset towards driving, but um, more or less, like you either start out as that person or you become that person. At least that's how it is yeah. in this sport. Because cool. at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter who you're lining up against. It could be somebody you've never heard of. It could be Jonathan Cash, Derek Madison, like Hooman. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, as much crap as I give him, I will say publicly, Hooman's a beast. <laughs> like we want human, human, human can podcast. do things yeah we want human on the podcast oh, I, oh i'll make that happen that's too easy well kevin said yeah. the same thing we want we want we want you guys to human. kevin mentioned to me that he's already put it in his ear so what'd he say um he's well, i will call him seems I'll to call be him open right for now. it so far you want me to call, call him? human right now yeah yeah okay all right <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he answers He's gonna put it. It's gonna ring like one more time, yeah, and he's yeah, gonna yeah. voicemail me. <laughs> oh, Angelo. Who man? What's up? What are you doing, buddy? Nothing. You are um, on the Circle of Drift podcast. How you doing? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? Hi. Yeah. So, um, so uh, apparently, um, Kevin was on this podcast last week. Mm-hmm. And um, they asked Kevin, huh? Grissom? Yeah, Grissom. And so they asked Kevin if he could get you to come on this podcast. And Kevin <laughs> said, maybe. Or what did he say? He said he, said he probably could. And I, mean, I, and I said like, something along the lines but... of, I definitely can. And they were like... <laughs> Well, you should uh, call him. Uh, yeah. yeah. So then I called you, and now you're on the podcast. <laughs> and now I'm on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm basically yeah. a professional Is bully. It live? 
Is no, it no, it's not. No, live. no, it's not. It's not, live. <laughs> it's not I mean, it'll be live next Sunday. It'll be live next Sunday. But they they want you to come be on this podcast so you can talk about like right now. No, or? not right now. This is my episode. I'm right now. I am the special. <laughs> I am the special like person this week. You can be the special person next week. I was just talking about how good you are at driving cars sideways. That's true. He was. He was. Very true. I mean, might have to talk about bicycling. (laughs) Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Anyway. Wait till he finds out that I just say that for the internet. I don't actually give a fuck what anybody does. (laughs) Uh, So anyway, yeah. um, Anyway, so this is your, your formal invite to be a guest. On the number one podcast on YouTube, Drift Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, yeah Sorry. Drift, Pod- Drift Podcast on YouTube. The yes. number one Drift Podcast on YouTube on Thursdays. So is he going to come on? You going to come on Are the you? podcast or what? Okay. Yeah, 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 I could probably do it. There you go. Sounds okay. good. Perfect. Well, All we right. can reach out to you. All right, I'm doing it. You're doing it. Hell yeah! Who will be on soon? <laughs> Woohoo! Well, love myself. Let's get back on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a little bit. <laughs> More drifting topics, <laughs> but uh, what kind of shifted your mindset from just driving from fun uh, mm-hmm. over to competitive driving? The adrenaline, you're you're pushing harder. Um, like really, um, you know, it's that. I mean, there there's you know got to be that competitive nature in in all of us to some degree. But um, yeah. Uh, like the badass, you know, don't get me wrong. Like I love party events. I love driver days. Like I'm actually kind of bummed. I'm going to miss chill Howie this weekend. Cause I know it's going to be a rager, but, um, yeah, it's like, they're fun, but it's not, it's not fun. It's not intense. Like Doesn't going into a age. final, like it, yeah, it's, it's not the same, yeah. um, that you don't get that rush. Um, There's no, like, this is for all the marbles. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah, dude. And so it's like, and then, um, really just like running a couple seasons of pro-am and seeing how much you can progress and how quickly you can progress versus, you know, guys that run, you know, grassroots events, driver days, whatever. Um, like you're still going to progress. You know, if you're in the seat and you're driving, you're going to progress. But so would you say you're kind of like addicted to the pressure? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel that. Yeah. Like Except dude, just not <laughs> competitively. I don't dude. It's yeah. It's, it's all of that. It's the, it's the pressure to come out, you know, you know, the winner to move on to the next round, to keep going. It's the pressure of knowing that, you know, you know, if you're at LS fest, you've got 30,000 people watching you. You know, being under the lights at LS yeah, Fest, like, that. like, dude, yeah, it's that's it's, what I like, but just for like, fun, man. You like, you just you can't think, like, I that's what I figured don't think, out. Just do literally, <laughs> like, you don't can't think, think. Do you cannot think if you think, like, you know, no joke. <coughs> shout shout out to Toll Maverick. If you think you're dead, like, you can't think. You just gotta go. Yeah, like, and and that's the hard part for me, right? Like, is if I get like iced on the line like if somebody calls five or something i'm like oh damn it (laughs) you know and so i like find ways to like occupy my time a big game changer for me uh was actually came from nate hamilton um i love that guy uh, dude nate's so cool um but uh who just became a dad by the way did he actually yeah yeah, megan had the baby congrats nate love you buddy congrats um you know all the all the all the good people at 144 racing um but yeah um nate actually was like uh i think he i don't remember if he was guest judging or if he was just hanging out but he was at lanier um for our final round of pro-am with east 10 and uh like all day long he was just out on grid like helping people like giving pointers and like and every time he would talk to me he would tell me to do something different like hey try this here try that there go faster here you know wait a little bit longer to transition there whatever and um he was like do you have headphones i'm like 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 with me and he's like yeah like earbuds like for your phone like do you have do you have earbuds i was like yeah somewhere probably in my truck I go, i'll find some like why do you need some like, like he's like yeah, all right. hamilton you're like yeah whatever you need <laughs> like, what, what, whatever yeah. you want man. like <laughs> dude do you get night hamilton to basically spot you uh, i mean he was kind of spotting everybody but yeah uh so nate said look i'm gonna go over here and i'm not gonna talk to you again until after practice i was like 
Okay. He's like, I want you to go get your earbuds, change your tires, come back out, put your, whatever your jam is, put it on and go drive. And that's what I did. Dude, that's weird because I've always, someone told me a long time ago, turn the music off whenever you're about to go on grid. Mm. If you're waiting in line. Keep the music if on. If it's a battle, out. that's different. But I'm like, I would say leave <laughs> the music on. I tried it on. one time and I, f- I did better, but I think that was more or less just a placebo mm. effect. Um, I would say leave the music on until you leave. Yeah. I leave the music on until I'm until I'm battling, like yeah, yeah, or same, until same. I'm qualifying. Like I, yeah, yeah like if it's practice, pff, I'm jamming the Fair whole enough. time. <laughs> like, I mean, whatever. I mean, like, realistically, I'm once you're for, on track, you can't hear the fucking music anyways. If you like, yeah, it it's really just the dead space. Like you're not hearing it while you're driving. Yeah. Like you could have the volume all the way up and it's in your ear and you're not hearing it. Like, I mean, you know, That's while you're true. driving, you don't hear it. But when you're not, when you're sitting on grid and you're you know trying it's to hype like, yourself up, you're just sitting there <laughs> with your chilling. fucking helmet bouncing like, back and literally, forth like dude, a bomb. <laughs> literally. And it's, it was a game changer. It really was. It kept me out of my head. I started driving better. Um, I think I qualified. Dude, what a fucking fourth? what a what a tight seven that guy is. You know? Yeah, Nate's dude, a G, yeah. dude. I uh, awesome. love Nate to death, man. My last event that I drove, he was at MIR uh, driving. So that's super mm. fucking cool seeing him. Yeah, and that car is that, oh, golden engine. That car's on oh, real. That golden race In engine, person, man. That oh car my God. is fucking gnarly. It's dude, the story seven, behind why it? he swapped was so crazy. To seven eighty five NA or something like that. Yeah. Like it's yeah, insane. Yeah, it's absurd. <laughs> Horsepower motor. I don't know. The compression on it's like super crazy too. That's like thirteen one. It's in, well, you, actually, I say that Blake Olson's motor sixteen and a half to one revs to nine k. Sure, it's dry sump though, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> yeah, but like, holy crap! And that that E ninety two is just. Oof. <laughs> All right. So what would you say, what would you say is the biggest downfall running a, uh, a program? Hmm. What's like the, what's like the one thing that you feel like you see other people make mistakes d- trying to run a program and you're like, ah, oh, I fucking, I did that last season. I'm not going to do that this season. <laughs> <laughs> um, jumping in too far, too fast. Um, you know, so like, a lot of guys, when they, when they make the jump into pro-am, um, they see how other people are running their programs. They see what other people are investing money in. Mm-hmm. What they don't realize is other people have been running pro-am seasons for, you know, a couple of years or whatever. And so they have the rest of it already figured out. They have their, their crew. Um, like that's one thing I see a lot of, or I've seen a lot of, um, is people like swapping crew members. And so like well, big turnover rate. Mm, yeah, I mean, or just even availability, like, cause not everybody can, uh, yeah. can yeah, take true. off work that's and true. put their life on pause to go drive eight hours to a pro-am yeah. event. Does that yeah. keep things inconsistent as far as the driver goes? Um, I mean, I think at the competition level, like being like having a team that, you know, having a team that you trust, having a team like to, to the point where, because at, at the beginning we all start out doing everything on our own cars, basically. Like yeah. we're changing our own tires. We're spraying down our own radiator. We're doing all these things on our own. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you have to have a team that you trust because if I'm at a pro am event, like if I'm, if I'm changing tires and getting ready to go back out for a battle or one more time or whatever it is, like I've got to trust that they know what to look at to make sure that everything's okay. So I'm not going to go flying into a wall at a hundred or however fast I'm going. Um, so you have to have a team that, you know, you have to have a team that you can trust. Um, and I would say that that gets even more important as you get up into like pro spec. Do you think it's important to have, uh, well, I guess once you've built a reliable comp car, do you think it's important to invest in having a seat time car as well? So, uh, we've gone back and forth about this. Um, like my friend group up in Clarksville, you know, and team and stuff. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like once you get to a certain point, it's not cost efficient for a comp car, like a dedicated comp car Mm -hmm. to be a seat time car. That was right. It costs way too much to operate. Yeah. Like, so can I put, you know, whatever Westlakes on my, on my car and run it. Yeah, of course I can, but it's not going to feel like it, like it does with 
you know, six, five, one sports on it yeah, or so one, two, three assets or whatever, whatever you, go into you know, um, you know, you're burning through E85, like, you know, a gallon every couple laps and it's only a 10 gallon tank. I mean, you know, it, it, you get to a point and it, and it costs a lot of money just to drive the car. Um, and so in terms of a seat time car, you know, MJ's 350Z that he bought totaled and is now like baller car for no reason. Like I don't understand, but defies physics. I'm serious. You need to drive it. But, um, yeah, I should but, have asked to drive it. When dude, I was like yeah. I drove Ariel's I, car before she wiped it out. Oh, RIP. If I, if I felt like I making a mess, started. I'd pour some, but, um, That's fine. She sold it. Yeah. She sold it to John Shack. I know she sold it. What? Yeah. Really? Well, her, his son. <clears throat> oh, okay. Huh. Dude, and he's doing our rotating assembly for Caleb's 5.8. We're doing Sick. a 5.8 LS. Sick. Who, who did you look up to when you were deciding to get into competitive drifting mm. as far as pro-am and all that? So I had been, I mean, obviously I've been a, a huge FD fan since uh, 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, like going to FD Atlanta as a fan every every year like that was the closest round so that was the one we went to Mm -hmm. um so you know a lot of the ogs um robbie nishida chelsea denofa when chelsea was in a bmw (laughs) kevin edit that anyway um, (laughs) when he was when he was in the e36 um like way back when um yeah and me and buddy have both been huge chelsea fans since forever um so we managed to ruffle his feathers a little bit i don't think he's mad at it chelsea man yeah. Our well, buddy. No, Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea yeah, you managed yeah. to ruffle Chelsea. How? What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, that's a great question. Wasn't yeah. it on the LZ video? One yeah, of the LZ I was videos? Like, so, like... Chelsea's always been super cool to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's a great dude. Yeah, yeah no. we don't have any problems with him. He just... There was, like, a video that we made, and the video was, like... It's like, dude, it's like our, um, our it's got like a million and what, five now? Yeah. It's, oh, fucking, wow. it's, it's got huge. a lot of views. And it's, it's basically the conversation that every dude that watches drifting, like in a grassroots scenario, talks about in his garage. It's like, how come LZ is an unstoppable force of just fucking G code gangster shit at mm-hmm. KK, right? Mm-hmm. But he fucking spins off the map at fucking. Yeah, FD. Mm, yeah, there's lots of reasons. What's Not it? even qualifying. There's a lot of reasons. Like that. There's a lot. There's of a reasons. lot of reasons, right? Okay. There's plenty of reasons. Denofa. Well, so we. So anyway, so I just asked that question, and True. immediately I set the internet on fire. They oh. hate me. <laughs> oh. Piece of shit. No. My tits are uneven. They hate. Me, right. <laughs> they look great, baby. Thank you. But they're like, so they're like, they're all mad, right? They're super mad at me because yeah, I ask sure. these questions when it makes me mad because, dude, they're all you're, you're all taught you're you're asking the same questions Is in your garage. Yet? Yeah, yeah, they're all asking yeah. the same questions. They're it's just the not saying shit. it on a podcast, which is why we, we get the just hate. get the balls. Yeah, and so I'm cool with it. Yeah, but stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we post that video. Mm. It goes to like, dude, something crazy. Like, I think it might have like twenty five thousand comments. Like, it's fucking crazy, man. Wow. Like, I like, uh, listen, look at me. I read all of the comments <laughs> uh-huh. i was up until four in the morning last night prepping for today okay i'm fucking about that life okay i read them all i woke up to and notifications. you motherfuckers man commented so many times that i can't fucking i can't fucking no that plus 584, instagram uh 584 comments on instagram let's see what the Anyways, there were so many comments that I fucking couldn't go through them. Mm. And so, um, yeah, yeah. How many comments? 524 on that one. So I mean, over a thousand that's, comments. That's still over a thousand combined. comments on one post. <laughs> whatever. Like, you, whatever well, YouTube no, shorts honestly, had to. Yeah, there were two shorts had however many. I yeah. don't know. I said 25,000. I was being exaggerative. But anyways, there's so many that I couldn't <laughs> sure. go through them. The like, li- seriously, the I couldn't go through them. And so all these people were getting so mad. And then, dude, I literally, I was scrolling through them and I couldn't, I, sh- I couldn't see, I'm like, I feel like I'm like an emotional person. So like I was going through them and I just couldn't do it anymore. I was like, dude, just, everybody just fucking hates me and they don't even know what I'm talking about, you know? Right. right? So I was like, all yeah. right, f- fuck that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to watch whatever I'm going to watch. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch Marvel or whatever, you know? 
And so, dude, I, so I put my phone down and it goes, Ding! and I was like, oh, don't do it, man. <laughs> don't even don't look do at it. it. Right? Don't even think about it. <laughs> and I look down and it says, Chelsea Denofa commented on your post. I was like, oh, oh no. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so listen, so listen. Oh, so, no. I, so dude, so I fucking screen grab, send it to Dawson, <laughs> screen grab, send it to Kevin or whoever right. was involved. And I was like, dude, <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> you know, because I love Chelsea yeah, Denofa. Yeah. He's a fucking beast, dude. right? He's G. And so like I'm like, I don't know what to say to him because like but 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 basically he said what I said earlier, which is like it's a bunch of multiple of reasons. Like yep. the tracks, yeah. the tracks are like way fast. And oh, so yeah. like everybody thinks that just because a track is faster that it's harder. Nope. It's not true, right? It's not true. I've done fast tracks and I've done little tracks, and like little tracks aren't necessarily harder, but like more technical tracks, I feel like it's harder. Sure, the faster yeah. you're going, just point the car where you kind of want it. And you're, you know, mm. like most of the time you're okay. To a yeah. degree. Yeah, okay. right, 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 right. So, it's crazy. So normally I, on a faster and, track, there's not that as many walls and, yeah, it's not as within dangerous. a short distance or anything. So here, here's my, you know, cause you know, that's I, what I, Denofa said. I, that's I, not I gotta, what I said. I, yeah. No, no, no. And, and honestly, I, I have to agree with him. Um, it's, it, I mean, so one, the tracks are harder. The tra- the FD tracks are designed to be difficult, Right. right. They, mm-hmm. you know, they will often look at St. Louis, um, hell, even Utah, the second inner clip, that's not a natural line. You know, you've got to yeah. work to get the car from that, from that second outer zone to that second inner clip. You had to work for it. It's hard. It's Dude, the supposed Orlando to be difficult. Layout with the new hump and everything. Oh my that shit looks so fucking weird. The way they have to manipulate the car. It's to get in the re- in the zones right. Orlando is insane. Yeah. There should not be a whoop section in drifting. I'm sorry. When Jared DeAnda recurrently says the whoop section, that's I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, so what I'll what I'll say here is um, at the level that we are um, are used to, pro am, you know, even pro spec. Yes, that what you're saying checks out. At Pro One, that's what the Nova said, I dude. Didn't and and Chelsea, you know, if Chelsea's watching this, like Chelsea, Chelsea should back me up here. Listen, At I'm Pro not saying One, that they watch us, but they fucking definitely know who dude, we are. Dude, yeah. right, <laughs> for sure, those judges are scrutinizing every single input, every single one. If you turn the wheel just a smidgen, like. Just, just a little, just a little adjustment. Yep. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. No. You're not fucking cyborg Osbo. If, yeah. if you, if you lift, Ryan Lontane is gonna see it. He's gonna see it. He's gonna know about it. He's gonna know about it before <laughs> the run's even over. He's gonna be like deduction. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I love Ryan. <gasps> Ryan's such a nice guy. <laughs> um, but you know, like seriously, they are scrutinized on a level that that like normal drifters, the people who are fans so of the this judges sport, are harder. Everything. The is cars harder. are faster. The tracks are harder. Is harder. So here's the thing is like those cars, those pro one cars are so gripped up. Like they are squeezing every single bit of grip imaginable out of those cars because they're trying to be faster and faster and mm-hmm. faster and watching, you know, like that was one of the things that I was just like kind of in awe of aside from being on a pro one grid um, was like I'm watching and I'm kind of kind of like paying attention to like lap times and sector times and stuff like that. But it's like the first lap that pro one guys will turn on Wednesday, Thursday, whatever the week, you know, whatever the schedule is versus the final battle of the event. The like the lap times, the difference is staggering. It's Hmm. so much faster. They get so much faster over the course of an event. It's insane. Um, and so, yeah, like everything about it is more difficult. You know, we talk about, you know, earlier we were talking about being under the lights at Beach Bend with, you know, every every redneck drag racer in Kentucky <laughs> watching you, you know, you're, you know, there's 30,000 people watching you. Okay, well, FD, there's a couple hundred thousand or, you know, people all over the world watch FD. Not you unless know? LZ doesn't make it in. <laughs> nah, well, either way. <laughs> Um, and then the other part of this, I was just making sure. <laughs> the other part of this, um, is this is a brand new chassis for him. <clears throat> it's, it's going to be a so learning curve. That's what we kind of, me even, and him even Chelsea about. struggled. Do you remember when Chelsea came yeah, on yeah. to RTR? Even like Chelsea a year struggled. And a half. He was like not yeah. really laying it down like it he used to. It takes time, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It takes time. He is always used 
to but a dude, turbo the car people, as well. But dude, so I, I don't do know, understand. Have that you point. gone through our Instagram? Ish, dude. Not, not obviously not tonight. But the next time you're like, dude, listen. If you want like a ten out of ten poop read, all right. Listen, <laughs> okay. Listen, go to Instagram. Click the sure. second box where you can just scroll. Click comments and yeah. just do just go through them. They think we fucking hate Adam L Z. And oh, it's man. awesome because uh, honestly, it's like this weird thing. Cause like, I don't like, cause you know, my personality, sure. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. No. I'm never going to meet you. You're not going to be at my funeral. I don't give a fuck. Right. So then you couple that with the way he edits stuff. Mm. And dude, <laughs> like, I'll be like, dude, I love Adam L Z. Cause I don't care either. I don't right, even right. really, I read some of the comments, but I don't, I don't uh, sit see, there and dive into them. Cause I know they're just, I read to them me, all. they're just a bunch of NPCs. And, mm. Sorry. I read them all. And so I'll read the comments and it'll be some dude. It's like, <laughs> that's a joke. You guys, gonna, <laughs> that's you a guys joke. are going to be on formula derp, like podcast <sighs> roasts its own viewers. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we had a request to do that. We had a request yeah. where they said, if you can't, if there's one time that you can't get a, uh, you can't get a, uh, 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 a guest to come on, which is like almost never the case. But if, no. we, if we couldn't get a guest to come on, we should just do a whole thing where we go through and, and like roast the time I've done that. and roast people Sorry. on the, uh, who are subscribers. And yeah, like, yeah. only reason we won't do that is because y'all don't really like the roast. Like the few of you <laughs> that like are going to see this, I don't comment, think y'all handle it. <laughs> they don't like it because, like, dude, if you watch the if you watch the view rate at the very beginning mm-hmm. when the roast is going on they're dropping off in droves and so like really yeah it's weird Dude, that's weird yeah. maybe it's because i know you guys I think and that's, that's what it why is funny the local to me. folks think yeah. it's funny because you know us but yeah. the roast don't make sense because they don't have any context they don't understand might be what's it. going on yeah you know? might be it. So, the, the ones that we did uh like a, just a portion of the podcast up front and as the intro those did a yeah, little those bit did better, better in the very beginning keeping retention on the first and it's funnier seconds. it's funnier if you clip something that's like a hot take you sure. know because like yeah so. anyways <laughs> yeah all no, right um, i think we've talked enough yeah. about uh the most of this stuff all, all seriousness it's, though love lc Oh yeah, 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 yeah. LZ, we love Chelsea. Chelsea. We like Chelsea. Dude, all all I'm saying is, yeah. um, sometimes Chelsea goes a little too ham. But, <gasps> but what's your take on Taylor Hall? <sighs> we're not gonna agree. Yeah, we no, are. we're not gonna agree. Okay, well, we don't have to agree. It's we're fine. not gonna agree. Dude, see, listen, this is <laughs> a great lesson for the audience, okay? Uh, okay. Because I think Taylor Hall is a big fat flop, okay? <laughs> and he obviously thinks Taylor Hall is so cool, which is fine. <laughs> And the fact that we are still friends and are going to go have a beer later should teach you all something Cheers. that you can just have a conversation with someone. You really can. You don't that have to fucking hate that person opinion. because so, their I, opinion is is not the same as yours. So shut stupid. the fuck up and listen. Stupid. All right. Anyway. Anyways. All right. Taylor Hall. Um, I think he's a flop. I disagree. I he's he's like the LeBron right. James, but in drifting. So, all right. Okay. All right. So let's take this. And, well, without and, the rings. And I've had this conversation a few times because you're not the only one of my friends that thinks this. Um, but um, I'm not saying he's not a nice guy. I just no, think no, he's, he's dirty. He's a super nice guy. Um, but go to any other motorsport. Actually, you know what? Don't even go to any other motorsport. Chelsea Denofa, who we all just agreed is a badass driver and does freaking amazing things behind the wheel of a car. Super cool dude. Have been a huge fan forever. No, no qualms with Chelsea at all, right? Were you there a few years ago when Chelsea? Uh, maybe, maybe like there? standing on the brakes. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, there was um, uh, allegedly a <laughs> yeah. Look at the camera. Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> um, there was a substance uh, maybe trying to help the tire stay on the wheel at very low pressure. And, um, that's when the rule came about that you cannot use anything to help the tire stay on the wheel. He put prep on his tires. I wasn't there. I don't know. I just know. I just know. I know. My inner drag racer has an erection right now. (laughs) Awesome. So yeah, um, there was, there was a thing I vaguely remember. This was a hot minute ago. But there was a thing and there was a DB or something and, and it, yeah, there were, it, then suddenly there was a rule about no beadlocks, no, but no ejection. Hmm. 
See, he drifted so soft sometimes. So, uh, well, no, he he, he actually, I think he lost the battle. But well, that's I not think really that, a punishment, though. No, 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 no. He didn't get like I don't. Well, as far as like behind the scenes, I don't know. But, um, but I do remember there was there was a there was a thing, and then suddenly there was a new rule. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so like, is there a rule in drifting where you can't run beadlocks? You cannot run beadlocks. <gasps> you cannot run any substance that helps the tire stick to the wheel. <sighs> Dude, I want to agree with all my drag racing friends right now so bad. This is bullshit. <laughs> Why? What's so, the point of that? I don't know. So, just because? All I'm saying is everybody, and I mean everybody, has tried to push the bounds of okay. the rules in Listen, racing. We're all hot rod race exactly. car guys, all right? We, so, we all agree that if you're not cheating a little, you're not trying. I, 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 I said, think I agree with that ideology. Here's here's flopping the other part. Flopping is not... Okay, all right. All right, we can't just say flopping as a as a, as a a general term. Give oh, me, I, give I me an get, instance. I can have Kevin put him in. Give me a right friend. here. Yeah, no, that's fine. Give me a for yeah, instance. Yeah, there's so. multiple what, clutch what, kickers, what, multiple NFT. Right, so clutch where kickers someone was just crap, barely taps him, and then he'll just uh, he'll go flying so, off track like so it was the I, biggest I wreck in the world. I assume we're talking about um, not, Irwindale last year. That was one of them where he got hit in the wheel and the wheel went is the other a little way. bit more an, of an aggressive hit. But I've seen one where someone literally just tapped right where the door True. is, the back of the door. And it just pushed him a little bit, and then he just all of a sudden his steering, the front wheels just switch, and he yeah, goes the other, way the other way. When he's nowhere near tapping him up front, and, and he pulls off track himself, I will say, which is I'm legal. Saying, I understand not, that, it's but like this, and he goes this way. Yes, right. So could be, don't know. Could be. All allegedly. I'm saying is, we're not saying. Allegedly, listen, we're not saying that we, that we fucking hate Taylor Rick. No, or Taylor, or Taylor Hall. Hall. No, Taylor I understand. Ray. I understand. <laughs> all but right. all I'm saying, speculation. At the end of the day, we don't know. But looking at the physics, okay, if you hit here, it's going to load up grip on the leading steering wheel, mm-hmm. the leading steer tire, which would make it go which the way it's pointing. <laughs> yeah. But it's not See, that hard what, of a tap. This, this is what this is That's part. What of, I don't get. This is part of the visceral part of the podcast. Is sure. that I don't have my phone, so I can't. Yeah. Look up so the, like that's yeah. the hard part. It's I like know, I don't because you want to prove it. Like, <laughs> but dude, I feel like this is the way people used to talk fifty years ago. Is instead yeah. of being like, oh, hold on, let me fucking hook up my fucking <laughs> sure. cyber phone and tell you what happened. Right? Like, no, you just have to t- talk about it like adults. But no. So there is yeah. one where he is at. I don't remember where he's at, mm. but he's going against LZ. And LZ barely hits him, and dude, it's like the wheel, oh. the wheel just barely. I mean, dude, he. Ba- it's it's not the even same like, type of tap that you see consistently from other drivers, and they just keep powering through the, it. Okay, not, I know how to. I know I how to place it in the timeline. So he gets tapped and spins right, and mm-hmm. then it's like deemed Adam's fault or whatever. And then the very next round, Osbo, uh, Osbo gets tapped by Odie, mm-hmm. and and not like. Not the same kind of tap like Odie fucking slaps him hard. Like, like Vaughn and Chelsea when they battle. Like, yeah, dude. They're like two trying, they're, they're they're trying to run kill each other, other man, over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to kill each other. Right. And dude, of course, Osbo is a fucking robot, right? So he just fucking. Dude, he's, he, such, an, he's such a nice guy. Oh, he's, I'm sure he's so nice. <laughs> such a nice but he's guy. such a robot. I mean, uh, no, he's amazing. Oh, dude. Like, he's just I, fucking, how, I mean, him, yeah. James Dean, Peter Vichek. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. He's like, like how do It's like AI. I mean, it's just like you just. How? How do you do. Reprogram. I like I, I so I saw him in Utah. I, I actually I selfied with him because it's my thing. Because <laughs> yeah, it's it's Freddie. Freddie remembers you. me from when I was a fan. So that was cool. yeah. I thought that was super cool. Yeah, that's super um, cool. But yeah, um, so uh, I really every time I want to every time I see him, I'm like. <laughs> Like, I can't even put words to it. I'm like, just how? Like, can you just... Wh- how? I'm telling you, <laughs> Kevin's got a really good memory. If Kevin, if you remember what we're talking about, put the clip in where fucking uh, Odie runs into Osbo at that round. Mm. And, dude... Was it Pennsylvania? I think it was. Erie? Yeah. Dude. Not a little... Not no. like... Cause, I mean, dude, because that like, was when Odie got... Like, Pushed Bam! off the track, dude. and then dude, <laughs> yeah. Odie like does you know flies off, and dude, Osmo's like what, what, and does the rest of the track, and I was just like, 
I remember watching that video and I was just like, dude, that guy's a fucking robot. You know? Mm. They just he insane. Just, it's all just Norwegian he's hammer, reflex. baby. Dude, he's just an it's he's all just that a, ice drifting. Yeah. Dude, he's a beast. He's he's it's a ridiculous. thug. And so okay, so anyway, so anyway, the point of that sorry. the point of that reference was I watch Oswald. Why can do one that, car do it, but take, the other car can't? Gotcha. Or why can one driver do it, but the other driver can't? Right. And I'm not, listen, I'm not even, listen, I am not, I am a human. And so I am not even saying that if I made it to that level of competition, that I wouldn't try and do the same thing. I'm, I would if I could. So why wouldn't you? Okay. (laughs) I'm telling you, I live my life by that fucking Cree. So I'm telling you, I just, I watched the videos of him getting like bumped and he, you know, it's a, it looks like a flop. Even if yeah. it's not a flop, it looks like a flop. And then sure. you watch Odie slam into Osbo like the moon slammed into Earth 18 million years sure. ago. And Osbo just keeps driving. Him. He just okay. goes. It's hard and, to watch, you and, know? No, no, I understand. I understand. Especially when it looks the same. Couple factors I'm just going to point out. Osbo, Taylor Hall. Agree. Agree. Okay. The other part. Is that maintaining drift after significant contact or even insignificant contact? There's so many variables. It's a toss up. I get it. I mean, like, yeah, but when so, the, I mean, like, when the all I'm reaction is, of him after he gets hit and then he keeps sliding and then randomly, do we need we need a couple split to second like, after? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Act it out. <laughs> I know this is a little run on, and I know we got to do the Tommy F. Yeah stuff. Tommy F. Yeah. Please tell me your best Matt Field story. That's, that's to me. It's to me. Mm-hmm. Best or worst? I don't have a best one. Um, Liar. Okay. <laughs> See, so Nate's lying? trying to <laughs> he's trying to make me do this. Okay. All right. Fine. Um. So it's fine. I think Matt gotcha, Field, bitch. I think Matt Field's a big baby. Mm. I mean, we yes. should. If, <laughs> I mean, I would be lying if I said that you know because we we talked about maybe having Aubrey on, um, and so I was like, okay, Aubrey. Now I understand. Okay, that you, that you don't like Matt Field. Okay, I understand. I get. It. See, child doesn't like him. It's like okay. having a dog that doesn't no like best. a person. <laughs> Dude, all I'm saying you is, heard the I'm like, you know, I'm like Aubrey. Thousands of people are going to see this if you say words on this on this podcast. Okay, so you, you got she'll be famous at a young age, and then you won't have to worry about it. You, I will get her in here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she will wake up and come in here and be like, "Osbo's the best." She really will. Like, yeah. and boom, Matfield. She'll say that. <laughs> really? Yes. But regardless she does so so and when i was like aubrey why don't you like matt field she said he's mean he's just he's just like a sissy mm. yeah. um and you know again you watch again, people get hit everything everything taken out of context but regardless best matt field story okay so um 20 preferably the best matt field being a douchebag story that's <laughs> i mean story that's, I that's what i assumed you were wanting yeah. <laughs> okay so 20 fd slander we live for that shit 2018 maybe um we that was the year that we made Hooman and I made it to Irwindale. Hooman's rig did not, if you remember that. Mm-hmm. He Nate Cox got stranded in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Shout out Nate Cox, love you, buddy. Um, first, we first the trailer like lost an axle, and then like something happened to the then they got the trailer fixed, but then something happened to the truck. Like it was. It was a shit show. It was it was awful. Ripple. Um, well, you got to the event. Me and Human flew to the event. the The rig was supposed to meet us there. The rig never got there. <sighs> Whom it was it was heartbreaking. Like absolute. But mm. at the same time, I had never been to California, let alone Irwindale. And I'm like, I mean, this sucks, but sweet let's go look around We're here let's but, enjoy it but like i'm here so i'm gonna watch irwindale at irwindale like you know yeah. um and so um but anyway we were like it was wednesday afternoon maybe or th- yeah it had to be wednesday afternoon and so we're like down to the minute like we're trying all of the internet is exploding like okay who can help this team out like somebody's got to have a truck that can come get this trailer and take it to california like what 
Yeah. Okay, come on, let's go. Somebody help. Right. And we're like, okay, so if this person comes from here and gets to the trailer and then drives through the night, they'll get here and we'll be able to get, uh, we'll be able to get on the line for our, for a qualifying run, like down to the minute. Yeah. Like to the point, like at 4 37 PM on a Wednesday, on Wednesday afternoon, it, we knew if it hit 4 38, we weren't going to make it. And so that time came and went and we we're like, well, crap. Okay. So the car's not going to make it here. All right. What now? Um, mm. well, we can rent a car. There's tons of drifters in California. We can rent a car. Okay. No big deal. Um, so we're like, all right, so who's here who has a car for rent? Um, uh, Matt Field. Matt Field just rented his car, rented that S15 to Pat Gooden, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Remember? Because that video of Pat running at OSW, it's like, that's the best fucking drift car I've ever driven a all. Shout out to Pat Gooden. Anyway. <laughs> Shout out to Pat Gooden. Yeah. But I also roasted, toasted, packed it and toasted that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> According yeah. to one of our, one of yeah, our yeah. friends. I mean, uh, yeah. He's so cool. Anyway. He's Webb Travis's friend. So, oh. hope, so yeah, hopefully yeah. Webb can talk to him and yeah. he knows that. You Actually, know. I'd like to have him on. Dude, yeah, I love yeah. him. Dude, Pat, Pat's a, Pat's a beast. He, yeah. he can rub people the wrong way, but it's what it is. Nate can rub people the wrong way. I mean, I don't know, whatever. I rub most people. We do it on purpose. Yeah, we do it on purpose. <laughs> see, see. I'm for it. Anyway, so. Um, gotcha, but yeah. bitch. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we're like, okay, well, you know, let's walk over to the Drift Cave semi and, you know, because it's, it's a semi. Yeah, it's like bigger than this house, like semi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah huge, huge thing. We're like, all right, so it's Wednesday. Everything's pretty chill. Pro nothing happening, right? There was a driver's meeting and that's it. Yeah. Nobody's busy. Nobody's like wrenching on a car, trying to get something ready for, you know, whatever. Like there's no. You're not interrupting. No, no. And so we walk around the backside of the semi and there's Matt Field sitting there talking to, talking to somebody or sitting there talking to somebody, whatever. Does and, his hair look like Jimmy Neutron in person? No. Fuck. Sorry. Uh, I, at I least, think it's only at least, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the only, I think the only time I've ever seen him, he was wearing a hat, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but so anyway, so, you know, human, you know, it's me and human and we kind of, you know, explain the situation and human's like, so yeah, my car's not going to be here. I'm trying to see if I can rent a car. And Matt's like, who's uh who's the driver? And I'm like, it's, human he's like and human's like uh, me <laughs> like, <laughs> why else would i be asking <laughs> like like me and so um, what he was like he was he was pretending like he didn't know who human was even though human was obviously a competitor yes i mean well i wouldn't say he was pretending like he he could have very well like not known who human was we were pro two he was pro one i don't know but yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were that's, fairly that's new you being nice yeah, he probably, knew. but it, we were fairly new to the protein yeah. circuit as well. So it, either way, doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, he goes and human's like, uh, me and Matt's like, mm, nah, I don't think so. And then completely like, just goes back to talking like, not like, sorry, not you know, like, like just complete, like no respect. Sudden, suddenly we yeah. were not there anymore. I was just like, uh, yeah, that's when your arrogance gets a little too far ahead. I was just of, like, uh, it's okay, okay, I guess we'll leave. Like, and so we turned around and walked away, and Human ended up going to Disneyland, and I sat in the stands in Irwindale and watched drifting. And that was what it did. <laughs> and then we flew home. Um, other Matt But you Field know what makes me, makes me mad about this story is there's going to be Matt Field fans that probably. are in the comments. I have, yeah. I have that friends that are Matt Field fans. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't care because you don't care about controversy. I, however, thrive on it. So just let me tell my story. So Do you <laughs> I dislike the fact that there are going to be fans in the comments that act like Matt Field pwned you guys for that. Like that that he that he like punked you guys out for that. And mm -hmm. I just want everyone listening to know. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, he didn't. That's some fucking punk bitch shit. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's, some that, punk that's what you meant. Like, dude, like say, what he meant? like say, Hey, listen, I'm not know. trying to be, you know, like, I'm not trying to like offend you, but like, I don't, I've never heard of you and I don't know, like, you know, oh, how oh, much oh, cash oh, yeah. you got. I miss there was a lot better saying. way okay. to go about saying yeah, like, that. Yeah. Than yeah. You did. I don't know. He was legit ah. trying to just be a dick. That's just yeah. what he was trying to do. You can, I mean, um, anyone can sugarcoat it all they want, but like, yeah, you know why uh, he was listen, being an asshole. You know why I've only been drifting for three years and nobody talks shit to me at Clarksville? It's because I beat the shit out of him. That's why. 
Because people forget all the time that there are people out there that will fucking not put up with disrespect like that. That's fair. Nothing. Um, uh, and like and that. and I'll fucking, share. I hate bullies like that. I'll I'll share a, a runner up story just because I it's it's a personal favorite. Um, so I don't remember what year it was, but it was Orlando. We were pitted across the street from Matt Field, and um, it, the event was over. We, me, you know, the whole crew, we were loading up the trailer, getting ready to get out of there, um, start, you know, get it, get to the hotel, get some sleep, get on the road, drive for 13, 14 hours, home, however long it was. Um, and so we have not one, not two, but three spot people spotting as we back the race car up towards Matt Fields car. Mm. who was sitting over right across the way here. Oh, I've heard the story. Okay. And, um, three people watching, not one, not two, three. Um, and so slowly back the car up, pull the car onto the trailer. No just issue. the car, not even the trailer. What? You're just back in the car? Passes? Yeah, like physically backing the race car up to pull it into the trailer. Okay. And we, with three spotters, to make sure that nothing happened, we were very careful. Um, with with three spotters, we this task was completed without issue. We were in the trailer strapping the car down when suddenly I'm in front of the car, like towards the front of the trailer, and I hear yelling. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, and so I stand up and I look, and at the door like like he had walked up the ramp and was standing at the end of the trailer and he was in your trailer yeah well not not <laughs> no no not not matt field you're matt, getting rocked this, buddy. Not matt, field. matt one of matt field's crew guys shirtless same difference clearly hammered and is like yelling at us and about how we need how that that was like a seven thousand dollar carbon fiber door on that Corvette, and we need to be more careful. And we were just like, um, dude, we had three people spotting. Like, like how much more careful could we be? Like, what are like? Did we hit it? Like, what's wrong? Like, dude, why are, what, why are you Matt yelling in the background? At me? Like, listening and watching all of this happen. I, I didn't see Matt at all. I have no idea where, where he oh, was okay. during all dude, this. I but fan, I but, fantasize about moments like that. But in my life. yes, so literally, <laughs> Dawson will as, tell you I live so, for shit like that. I'll be so climbing this, up the car like, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I've been wishing you'd come over here all day. Oh my god. <laughs> so so I've yeah, been um, for your ass. so yeah. Uh, then uh, like before it escalated, suddenly there were like three other field drift cave crew guys that like came over and grabbed their drunken buddy and drug him back to their like hey we're sorry like he's drunk blah, 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 and then drug him back over to their stuff but Good. yeah so um yeah that's the seven thousand dollar door story. story and then um you know we all saw long beach and like i just thought that was kind of <laughs> Yeah. Nobody cares. Well, like right. that, and 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 to be completely honest, Freddie is like the nicest guy on the grid. Oh yeah. yeah, like he is the nicest guy. He like was immediately there apologizing. Dude, and you're just I made, gonna yeah. trash him like I that. I made like a hundred like, memes. And dude, I don't, my listen, God, and I don't so watermark many. my memes. So Matt Field, if you're watching this, if you see a meme about you being oh, annoying about it's, Freddie Osborne, it's Osbo, like a seventy percent chance probably that it was. <laughs> for sure, that it was his. I like, made all he made of them. So fucking One many. thing I will give Matt Field is he can drive his ass off. Have, all right. Not like, yeah, love him, hate him. The dude can drive. And, and yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, but fuck him. Yeah. Anyways. Oh. Uh, Anyways, let's talk about Tommy F. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. I studied for this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I, I, too I didn't study near as much as you did. All right. So... For those in the audience that don't know, this is Tommy F. Yeah. Okay. He's like a JDM purist GTR. He's a, yeah, but he, but he's like a GTR guy, right? Like he builds GTRs and he builds like some of the nicest GTRs you can build. Oh yeah. Like he's like the Mecca, man. I mean, this is the dude that you go and talk to. He's the GTR guy. But what a lot of people don't know is that Chris Rudnick, which is Ricer Miata on uh, uh, YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube, if you want to put that in there, right there. He was like sharing shop space with him, and then supposedly a guy named 
<laughs> Hur- Huracan uh, Ian. Ironically. Which is completely <laughs> coincidental. Which is like, dude, that that we're not a, talking about a, the actual hurricane. It no, it's a different <laughs> thing. This yeah. is a person. Like a Hurricane <laughs> Lambo, yeah. not Hurricane. Hurricane no, Ian. Thing. That's like the, dude, that's got to be like, like we're in a simulation, right? It yeah. Can't be real, that's, right? It's a glitch. Glitch Anyways, in the Matrix. He released two videos. Okay, the I, we can put those in the description because he gave us. Uh, he said that we could. Yeah, do that. I'll, I'll leave the links to the videos that we're talking about in the mm. description. So you can watch uh, these videos talking about up, Tommy F. Yeah, so he apparently, I'm pretty sure, as I understand it, all but drained his stock market investments in Tommy F. Yeah, that's the way it seemed under the under the guise that he would eventually get his return investment back plus some and get some built cars. Now, I will say that as someone who spends their entire adult life in retail, dude, you didn't get a contract, buyer's order, purchase order, Not a spit shake, thing. nod, Something. high five, hug, head Pinky butt, promise. nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. You got no you got no shit, okay? Nothing. Yep. And that and and I got to tell you, that's not good. The receipts and the and everything is good, but you you got to have something in writing if you're going to be partnered with someone. And I'm not making fun of you because I know what it's like to get wrapped up with someone mm-hmm. that's very persuasive. I, I understand that part. Oh, I've been swindled. Now, <laughs> I will say, that may not make Tommy F. Yeah a piece of shit, but, but. okay, there is a video of him basically admitting on a hot mic or you know, a hot phone that he was taking advantage of Chris Rudnick from the profits that they had went in on the same endeavors with. And so the this Huracan Chris guy had caught on, or not caught on, but he had kind of gotten hip to it pretty fast uh, that that Tommy F. Yeah, was like a sleazeball. Right. right. So he starts but documenting this is shit. Ha- this has been going on over a four-year period, yeah, 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 yeah. according yeah, to like Ian. Since 2018. And oh, this yeah. is just now he's speaking out about it publicly. But... I, I mean, even down to um, like that one of seven car, the red mm-hmm. F, the F, which, FD which, car. Okay, I've seen like even hundred his. red FDs. Why is it one of seven? So uh, I don't. What's special about? I it? don't remember what the significance of that car was. Okay, uh, I wasn't a big fan of Tommy back then. I've, just, I've never sure. been a big I fan. Was, of I Tommy. was just curious. I've seen a hundred red FDs. Hated Tommy. So just like, yeah, you know, but I even literally was not aware of his existence until yesterday or day before. So. Yeah. Basically, this dude has funded not everything from projects to tools to equipment to some of the shops he's been in. His all sorts of car. Stuff. Majority <laughs> of, of the giveaway cars that Tommy has given away were funded by Ian, of, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> and so the question... So I feel like I, I speak for everyone on the internet where we thought Tommy was a douchebag. Okay. Not not like you wouldn't hang out with because like I'm a douchebag, right? People don't like me because sometimes I'm a cunt. Okay. And I don't care if you don't like that because that's just who I am and I don't care. But occasionally Dope. you'll still watch somebody's stuff, even if they're like kind of douchey, because you're like, you just want to see what they're doing, you know? Right. Yeah. So you're like holding out hope that maybe he's just kind of douchey. He's not like greasy. And then this Ian guy comes out with a video and dude. It's it's awful. I mean, it's awful. I've been in the car business for fucking almost 15 years, and I ain't never heard no shit like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like fraud, man. You can't say that. Yeah. 20% is whatever the fuck I say it is. Yeah. The, we'll, <laughs> we'll put that video in there so that you can get the, the yeah. glimpse of that right. because that is very real. And, I mean, he could possibly say that it's not his, it's not him on the phone, blah, 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 because you can't see it's, the name um, on the phone. No. But the voice is too distinct. Everyone knows what fucking Tommy sounds like. Right. And it's clear as fucking day. Look, all I'm saying is if that... If the Matt Field discussion does not tell you that even when I don't like somebody, I still do my absolute best to give somebody the benefit of the doubt, that clip was like... Oh, that's was, enough to say just fuck it, dude. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you screwed either there's way. No, there's it's no the, refuting that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just blind... Not blind proof, but no, and just not only that, bulletproof. <laughs> all right, hold on. <clears throat> Listen, not only that. So everybody else on the internet has still been posting regularly. All right. So after after uh, Tommy F. Yeah, post on the internet six days ago where he's like fake crying about 
yeah, this is not the way to go about it. Like, what are you, Bill Clinton? Shut up. <laughs> so, anyways, he hasn't posted in six days. Meanwhile, Chris Rutnick and the other guy have posted every day since then mm. because they're, you know, like YouTube's their life. That's and now how they I make feel money. Like, yeah, yeah. And I mm-hmm. think I think Tommy is probably fucking backpedaling, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on because he's lost like a hundred thousand subscribers in the last, you know, week. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you know. And that's what you get, honestly. But he even know? says in the video, like, my his co- he believes that his career is like an indefinitely ruined. Like he'll never recover from it and stuff. And you won't. Yeah, like that's that. good. good. You you dove too good. deep into something that you couldn't climb out of. And I will say, from for Ian, hmm. he wasn't in the right by not getting proof. After four years of all this crap, yeah, he should have been at least like taking s- better screenshots of shit. And I, I, I didn't see the the foolproof video and everything, but mm. he's got screenshots like, where he's, there's got to be some more definite proof. He's got him. screenshots where he's trying to pin it yeah. down. You can but, tell. I, I screenshot. And he screenshots. keeps saying that he has like sixty hours of all of this, yeah, evidence and stuff. And I'm like, okay, that's all fine and gate. If all, all fine and great, and I guess like they're all YouTubers, so it makes sense that they're gonna settle this on YouTube on the internet. And yeah. so, I mean, I guess that I get doesn't that, make but sense it's like, to me. I think that's just silly as fuck. I mean, you, you, I kind of fucking agree, lawyer but, and okay, it, so does everybody d- remember the Fred Lump Lump thing? Over 180 grand, though. Okay, I get okay, it. Okay, if we're talking about 10, 20 grand, okay, like uh, do your little piss fit, it'll give you extra clout yeah. and stuff, but this is like. It's serious money. I, I understand, Tom. Like, I t- for me, I wouldn't want to just openly ruin someone's life unless there's like some some other shit that we're not being told that Tommy has done. Also, oh, there's not. Listen, there's a hundred percent shit we're not being told. Eat his oh, ass yeah. alive. I don't give yeah. a shit. Because the Hurricane Ian guy was I'm saying that like you he could have left. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> still fuck Tommy. There's nothing wrong. Right. Listen, ever, there's nothing for wrong a long with time. I don't I'm know. just saying <laughs> that if a bar fight ever went down, all right, I'm the first person going after somebody. Okay, and it's not because I'm super confrontational. It's just because I'm not afraid of confrontation. So what I was gonna say is, listen, the Huracan Ian guy, he says that the reason that he doesn't drop the rest of that thing is because Tommy goes after Oaks and Adam LZ right after that. So, wait, 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 back up. What? Yeah, so in the video where he's talking about fucking Rudnick over, okay. he's he, the the uh Huracan Ian guy. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to fuck your name up, but I, I haven't I've never followed him before. He only has sure. like twenty four thousand followers, yeah, which yeah. is a lot. I'm not saying that's not a lot, but I just don't know who he is. Sure. And so I watched this video and he's like, I didn't mean to cut it off, or he said I wasn't oh, trying to cut it off. I did you know see that. Yes. Dude, okay, it's because okay. at, it's because yeah. Uh, 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 t- Tom, Tommy F. Yeah, mm. started drop name dropping right after that. He was like, I had to cut it off because it's a bunch of personal shit about Adam LZ and Jimmy Oaks, and I don't mm. want that to get out because then it's mm. going to be a whole thing. And yeah. you guys I mean, know, he you guys know I'm re- kind of a psycho, and so I was like, I was like, do it, <laughs> drop it. I want to know what's going on in the fucking big leagues. You know? right, yeah. I want to see what's happening. So, yeah, that's really all you got to know, right there, is that you know. <laughs> Dude, did any listen anybody that'll fuck their friends? Mm. Piece of shit. You're mm. a piece of shit. Okay. Yeah. I want like a neon sign that I could like click on during the video. <laughs> all right. Like I just go oh, like God. this, but it's red, and I just click it on, and it comes right. on all in one thing. It's like what a fucking piece of shit like, all over my head. That's what I want. <laughs> I can't stand that shit. Because I could be so much further. Dude, listen, I like a lot of people in life are one of those type of people where like they just genuinely want to help people and they don't want to do bad. They want to do all this stuff. And like, mm-hmm. I'm not like that. I'm like one of those people where like I'm constantly I'm, like that, I think. I'm constantly trying to like do the right thing because my first instinct is to be like like obnoxious. Yeah, like <laughs> is to be like cunty. Mm-hmm. And so like when I watch someone like get away with something for so long where they just get to be a cunt all the time. It's just annoying. I'm just like, dude, you know, like, oh, yeah, wow, you did that for four years? Great. And now what? Now you got nothing. Dude, he's down to like 200,000 subscribers. Mm. <laughs> and what and was what? he at? I can't remember. Huh? What was, what was he, at? he at? Yeah. I don't remember what he was at, but it was way more than that. It was it, like, it was like, it was getting close to five. It was 238, and then it was. It was 2.38 earlier today when I looked, and then it was 2.22, and then I went back earlier, and it was like 2.01, and I was like, dude, they're they're <laughs> fucking, they're like 
Peace, bitch. <laughs> you can't fuck over Rutnick, man. Dude, the internet yeah, is no. a fickle Rutnick. bitch. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, like dude, really. It's, not, it's really not, though. Just don't be a bad human. Yeah, Just don't fair. be a bad human. You know? Yeah, dude, Cleese McFarlane. He's, oh, yeah. He's so Such chill. a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. He's dude. so chill. Okay, okay. So to top the worst Matt Field story ever, um, I have the best... Cletus McFarland oh, story. Dude, let's get Cletus on the podcast. I love this. <laughs> oh my God. Cletus. Tag him below if you want let's to see go, him buddy. <laughs> um, dude, he did Roman Atwoods. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Okay, so um, what year was it? Was it, it was either 2020 maybe? It was one of the LS Fests. I don't remember which one. It was recent, like last two years probably. Um, yeah, no, it, actually it was 2020. Yeah, absolutely was. Okay, so LS Fest. Um, I brought my buddy, Doug, uh, who love him to death. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's a motocross guy, um, from Kentucky. Doesn't really know much about drifting, but he's friends with me and friends with buddy and we're all into drifting. And so he's like, nah, fuck it. I'll go. <laughs> like, you know, and he's from Bowling Green area. So that's basically home for him. And so, um, he came with us. And so, um, it was, you know, me, Human, Jonathan, like we were all kind of pitted close to each other. Um, and, uh, and so I'm like walking back to the pits and I see Doug standing at the end of Human's trailer, like kind of like, like where the, if the door closed, like closed, he was here, right? Like at the top of the ramp. And I can't see who he's talking to, but he's talking to somebody. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm like, who the hell is he talking to? And uh, and I look, and there's Cletus McFarland standing in Human's trailer <laughs> talking to my friend Doug, who has no idea who Cletus McFarland is. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That's probably dude. why Cletus was, like, so willing to just dude. be there having a conversation. Yeah. Oh He's like, yes, I get to be treated like a normal person. <laughs> dude, and so, anyway, so they were, like, talking, apparently, you know, you're talking motocross stuff and dirt bikes and oh, LSs. He's a big, he's a big uh, motocross guy. Oh, yeah, guy. yeah, And so, uh, <laughs> and so, I'm like, you know, uh, he was, Cletus was there to talk to him and about, something i don't remember what but because cletus was uh he was i think that was the first year he tried drifting like i think that was the first year he tried to drift the cletus yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh. um and yeah. so i think that was the first year he tried to drift at ls fest and then the next year he, like 2021 he did really well but so anyway so i'm like you know he goes talk to him and whatever and i'm like doug do you how are you do you know who you just talked what, to? Who are you? What, do you know who that is? And he's like, I don't know, uh. some guy, <laughs> really tall guy. I'm like, I mean, yeah, he's a giraffe, but like, <laughs> he is tall. I'm also vertically challenged, so like, everybody so seems tall same. to me. You seem like, you know, a skyscraper. I don't know, but I'm only six foot. You're pretty tall. Yeah, I'm five seven. That's like a million inches difference. Um, so mm-hmm. anyway, tell my um, girlfriend I'm six two. That's fair. Um. So anyway, so <laughs> next so, nine so, and a half, baby. So, long, <laughs> long story short, uh, fast forward a year, okay? We're at LS Fest twenty twenty one. Oh, We're, they get paired up. No, fuck. Oh, sorry, that been sorry. Awesome. No, no, no. <laughs> it would have been funny, but no. Um, so we're standing in like the pit area, like right outside the the oval. Um, and, uh, you know, and so they've got it like barricaded off. So like people can't just be walking through sure. the pits and stuff. Cause there's cars coming in and out. And so we're standing there and, uh, um, w- you know, we're like at the fence, like watching the battles and, um, uh, apparently Cletus had walked up on the other side, you know, it was me, Doug, and then Cletus and his girlfriend, now wife, I believe. Um, they're about to have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats, buddy. Um, yeah, we're pumped for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so they walked up and uh, I guess Cletus hadn't realized who he was walking up next to. And Doug didn't realize that Cletus had walked up. And so, like, you know, we'd been standing there for like 10 minutes and uh, Doug finally looks over. and He's like, oh, hey, man. And Cletus looks down, you know, like because he looks down because Doug's like six <laughs> two also. But Cletus is still looking down anyway, because, you know, he's up there. Um, so anyway, um, he's like, 
motocross guy. <laughs> he said motocross guy? Yes, motocross guy. And so, yeah, he's just another so monkey, that's how, too. Dude, that's how I fucking view people. I'm dude, like, the so, last conversation I have with you is what your name is. That's you know? why your name in my phone is still Nate Drift. <laughs> that's how I just met you through drifting. I have no it's idea. hilarious. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, that's well, the story of how my friend Doug, who has nothing to do with really anything motor, <laughs> yeah, motorsports, yeah, he does side-by-side stuff in motocross, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like drifting and stuff, he, he really doesn't really, you know, aside from us. And that's the story of how Doug and my friend Cletus, or that's my friend Doug yeah, and yeah. Cletus McFarland are, are friends. <laughs> so yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah. um, what is one good piece of advice you would give to someone that is looking to get into drifting, whether it be for fun or competitive? Mm. I know the difference of one or the other. I would prefer that. One or the other, like so fun or competitive, like, like just and. pick one. Yeah, no, 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 like and like so. If you're talking to a kid, he's 18, wow. he's got a, he's got a, you know, no, he's got no money, right? Like, or he's not no money, but he's like, you know, we're working yeah, on yeah, 18 like year not, old money, not a twenty thousand dollar season budget. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um. All right. So 20. one, uh, keep it simple. Seriously, agree. Keep it yeah. simple. You don't need you don't need a shit ton of power. You don't need all the crazy angled uh, hydro. Like you don't need dual calipers. Freaking RTR runs inline handbrakes. They don't yeah. have dual calipers. If they can do it, you can do it. Okay, dual calipers are cool. I have it on my car. It's great. What about tires? Find some. I mean, okay. So if you're not competing, you don't need two hundred treadwear tires. Right, you need like really high mm-hmm. treadwear, right? I mean, you know, like Vercelli Strata twos or five hundred treadwear. They will last. You can. I've literally run an entire event on one and a half pairs of Vercelli Strata twos, like an entire wow. comp event. However, you have no grip. It's like driving no. on ice. Um, so they will. They will spin. They will be tires. They will make smoke. Kind of. Um, you will have no grip. You will be the slowest, the slowest fucking car on the course, hands down, every time. But you'll be able to drift all day, all day. Yeah, Yeah. but you can drive all day. So I wouldn't say necessarily go with Vercelli Strata twos or like a five hundred treadwear tire. But you also don't need Achilles one two three S's or holy shit GT radials or six five one sports. You don't need a two hundred treadwear tire. Find a good happy medium. Um, you know. The, the KR20. The, I, I mean, the yeah, 65 the accelerators are fairly. I mean, I mean that's cheap, that's what I'm on. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, they're. I think they weren't think too far the off price, from after Kendrick. the after the most recent like price hike because inflation and well, all that. Yeah. I think they're at like one thirty something up. Yeah, one thirty something a pop. But okay, yeah, maybe I mean, maybe a little more. I was getting them about eighty ish, eighty ninety uh, before all this bullshit happened. Yeah, like pre COVID or. Yeah, right. Pre COVID, I was getting them about, about, about in that same range. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, they're great tires. Love them to death. Shout out Tire Streets, Accelera. Love you guys. Um, but, um, you know, you, if you're just trying to get out there and learn, you don't need that. You don't need all the hot boy crap. Like, you really don't. Agreed. Just, just go out and drive. Like you go out and yeah, Human Rahimi, right? We just we got we talked to Human earlier, right? Human Rahimi drove his stock three fifty Z drove his stock three fifty Z to events with tires strapped to the back, or I, I believe this is how the story goes, but literally stock three fifty Z and would drift yeah. all day. And and that's how Human learned. And then he bought a trailer. And then, like, he still didn't really do much to his car. Like, seriously, ask when he comes on the show, you ask him to tell you how he started because it's a really cool oh, story. It'll be, it'll be one of the questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, tell him, just tell him to tell you the story of what he started in and how and how it progressed. How did his car progress as he did? Um, and it's a really great story. But you don't need it. Keep it simple. Just drive. Make your car reliable. Pay attention to the things that matter. Water temp, you know, tires, alignment, and that's really it. Just go drive. Change tires, put gas in your car, and drive. If you're not in the seat and you're trying to learn, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go drive. Oh, yeah. A hot damn it. 
Mm. That was a good one. Yeah, that was killer. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up there. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Yes. Uh, don't forget to Thank subscribe. You. Hit the bell so you don't miss the next episodes. Um, and these videos on the screen here are the ones that YouTube thinks you should watch next. So see you guys. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Do you got Instagram one? at j underscore drift at 160. Good that's call. True. That's my bad. In, that's true. We, we okay. probably, would, this, would is probably a, this has be been a really long one. I like it. <laughs> probably like underneath it. when you, we were introduced. Only you. if you type it, though. I need to feel good about it. Kevin's going to type it. No, don't like... <sighs> Kevin's the editor. Love you, Kevin. I'm done editing. <laughs> Love you, Kevin. <laughs> we we hired an editor. We're good now. All right. This, this is yeah, we're it's done. not on too tag, long. We got to go. We got to go. Bye. Bye. Just Bye. tag Whistling Diesel Bye. in the comments. Whistling Diesel. So that he can come on the podcast. Okay. Bye. Wow. Dawson really wants to go to bed. <laughs>